Hi everyone, today I want to talk to you about Purple Heart. This is called Purple Heart. I guess purple is a perfect name for it. Heart, I don't know why heart, but Purple Heart sounds beautiful and it's look beautiful. Now let me tell you a story about, I don't always love Purple Heart. Uh, when I was living in Ukraine, I don't really like it because uh, in Ukraine we was having it as a house plant and usually was have was have only like one stem in a pot and it was all time was getting broken and i didn't like it but when i moved here to uh, north texas um, and started gardening i found out that purple heart growing here beautifully and it's coming back every year yes in the late fall it's die back you clean off uh, dead stems and next spring it's coming back and it's uh, spreading more and more and uh, so purple heart is growing in the zone 7 and 10 and it's perfect for um, growing in the hanging baskets or in the ground like i do you can put in a patio or you can um, if you want to save it you can plant it in the pot and bring in the house but um, I don't do in a pot. Let me show you what I'm usually doing. So if you see my purple heart growing on my grass. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just be snipping branches. Oh, there's my kitty. <laughs> I be snipping branches and they're very easily snipped. They're just like that. So, and that way I kind of clean them off from my grass still look beautiful you still see all this purple that's what I actually like about purple heart because yes its flower has this is the flowers very small on top but what it's is that it's a leaves it's a purple so it's kind of if you stay back it's instant color doesn't matter if it's blooming or not it's beautiful purple color okay let me finish to break in this part and another thing when I break in this parts it started uh, bushing up even more so it's kind of helping to breaking down branches I do it whole season long and it's helping plant okay now look at this see it's not puffy and spreading everywhere now what i'm gonna do now it's a purple and we're close to halloween i have my orange halloween bucket what i'm gonna do i will be pulling bottom two three leaves from the bottom i will be pull out like so and put inside i'll show you what i'll be having look at this it's Full. my bucket is full of purple hearts now what I'm gonna do I just gonna put water all the way till top and put somewhere in my yard um, as a kind of like Halloween decoration because purple and orange go together now all these leaves I will uh, throw them in the garbage and let me tell you why I find out about only months ago that uh, purple Purple heart is a toxin plant. So uh, if uh, cats, dogs, or human will eat these leaves, uh, they can get very sick. I don't know about die. Um, definitely animals could probably die because they're smaller size. About human, I don't know. But um, I never use these leaves in the food. So every time how I done um, peeling off leaves, I just throw them in the trash and wash my hands very well. But honestly, you know, when you see Purple Heart in the store, there are no warning saying it's a toxic plant. Um, but I have two cats and three, no, I have three cats and two dogs and three children, and everybody's fine, nobody eating these leaves, we are fine. So, uh, and I already have a start uh, like this, um, I did about months ago, that they have a roots and I wanna plant them. Let me show you where I'm gonna plant them. But this is actually what I do in the fall. Late fall, I come and I pull lots of branches, put them in a big bucket and bring with me in the house. 
and over the winter they're giving me a roots and then early in the spring when it's already no more freeze i can plant them in the ground and they're started with the big branches like they're already up okay well let me show you where i'm gonna plant it So I want to plant them right here in a straight line. This is my starts that I started uh, about a month and a half ago. They're all rooted in. You can see it. It's have good, nice, healthy roots. So all what I need is just pull them apart and put them in a straight line uh, right here. I want to dig straight line trench and just place them in. And there's my puppy Chewy. He love talking to another dog over the fence and this is my puppy sugar love my puppies here i dig my trench straight line right here here i plant all put on my starts uh, in the trench so they're ready to go put on top soil and ready to go here's chewy 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 good boy and here's my kitty jingle jingle good kitty so I was planning to show you how I planned this <laughs> roll of my purple hearts but when I was looking at my footage back none of them have voice I still gonna put it uh, but yeah I'll just put music but you will see how I was planted in this is the bucket that I did starts it's so beautiful anyway after looking at my backyard I decided I need add this is hibiscus hardy hibiscus one of the last flowers so anyhow, I decided that I need more purple heart here in the back of my border. There's is another hibiscus. So beautiful. Yeah, so I decided I'm going to plant along this by big clumps. I think it's all going to look beautiful. Of course, right now it don't look very impressive, but I know it will be spread out, stool up, and uh, it will be very beautiful. Do you look like that? Okay. Let me show you a few more stuff in my garden right now. Looking very beautiful. Look at this rose. Doesn't it look beautiful? I love it. My favorite color is pink, purple. Look at this one. Oh, so beautiful. Then I have zinnias here and phlox. Look very beautiful. And one more rose. Look at that. I need to come closer. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So, so beautiful. Okay. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.